Hey, this is Mel. Welcome back. So in the last video, what we did was we talked about the overview of the Screencasting Wizards client version of the Easy Video Player. And uh, in this video, what I want to do is show you how easy it is to add an opt-in form at the end of your video when you create uh, your video player using the you know the client version of the easy video player so what I want to do here is um, we'll assume we've logged in and we've got uh, we're logged into our test account here uh, I showed you how to upload the video in the last time and uh, so we're not going to go through that we'll assume the video is already uploaded but or better yet what we'll do this time is we'll actually use a YouTube video uh, and then we'll put an opt-in form on the tail end of that YouTube video so let me show you how to do that notice this section down here and we're under the dashboard section okay so this section down here it says enter a URL so this can be a YouTube video it can actually even be a Vimeo Viddler or any other video that you have the direct URL link for so let me go ahead and show you one here that I've created on my uh, video channel so this one is one that gets pretty you know, fairly popular um, how to create a YouTube video annotation with a link and so you'll notice that at the bottom of most of your YouTube videos there's this little short link that YouTube likes to give you what you'll actually need here is to expand this uh, this options button here and click the long link that's the one that you'll want to have so we're gonna go ahead and grab that copy that guy and we're gonna go ahead and paste that into my URL section here okay so there it is you can actually also name this so we'll call this creating a YouTube annotation link and I'm gonna go ahead and keep that in my test client folder here and once we're done we'll go ahead and say import Okay, so it says imported successfully, and what it's going to do now is automatically navigate me over to the settings page so I can modify the settings for that video. Now, uh, again, we covered uh, most of this on the last video. Let me just grab what the, uh, the actual size here. So we know that it's a uh, width. I'm back on the YouTube channel. So we know it's width of 560 and 315 on the height. So I'm just going to go ahead and populate that here. Three Hit width of 560 and 315 on the height. All right and I'm gonna go ahead and make this really fast and just go ahead and copy settings from a previous video which is the one that we did yesterday okay so now we've got the video settings copied over and I'm just gonna go ahead and change some of the parameters this was 560 and 315 on the height here good we'll keep everything the same and maybe this time what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add a splash image here too alright so we got the splash image Okay, so we've got all of that. We'll just assume that we want all of these uh, social buttons. But here's a section down here at the bottom where it says, uh, after your video, what do you want to have happen? Nothing. Just display the play button again. Or you can set it to take the user to a site, So in which case then you would enter the URL for the site that you want to automatically redirect the user to when your video is done playing. Or you can display a button here, one of these pre-canned buttons. There is also another section here later on I can show you that uh, where you can upload actually your own, uh, use your own buttons as image overlays. Uh, but the one that we want here today is to go ahead and use the display some HTML section. This is where you're actually going to put the HTML code that your email email auto responder service provides for you so my service is Aweber so if I go over to my Aweber site where we create the web forms it looks just like this you can design the the form it's gonna look like that and there's some settings in here and then also here's the publish section and what we're gonna do is grab this raw HTML version and whatever email autoresponder you have they will have something similar where you're basically able to create web forms which are the forms that people sign up you know they put their names and their email address in and you can just basically grab that code just like I did here let me make sure I did grab it and then what we're gonna do now is go back over to easy video player and in this display some HTML section it's as easy as just page pasting that code in there alright and that's basically it and let's go ahead and save this and see what we got alright okay so it's as easy as that as you can see now what it does is uh, the client the screencasting wizard client version of the easy video player app software uh, then creates the video and now it takes all of those settings and puts it all into this one embed code that you can then grab and put on your your blog site or your other you know, otherwise your website so I'm going to copy that and so if we were go going over to say a WordPress blog uh, you can copy and go over to the HTML section and either paste that in there 
using the HTML section, or better yet, if you have the plugin, which is a free plugin for an easy video player, you actually can use this easy video plugin, and uh, which I already have in, installed, and I will show you in a future video how to install this if you're a WordPress guy or gal, and uh, we'll just grab that, put that in there, and insert that video code right inside the video, the, the blog post. And since I already defined it in Easy Video Player to be centered, even though it's showing kind of left justified here, it will populate and show as a centered video. So let me go ahead and show that to you. So we'll save the draft here. Okay, now that it's saved, we'll go ahead and preview it. And there it is. Just as easy as that, it shows up in our um, our website, uh, in this case happens to be a blog site. And remember, we used it of YouTube video here. So let's go ahead and play this and see what happens. Okay, and that's as easy as that. If you notice the little YouTube logo in the lower right hand corner here, it is actually streaming of the YouTube video. And we place it in our blog site. And when we go to the end of this video, let's go ahead and do that. And what you'll see is at the end of this form then, uh, it's uh, clearly a little bit more formatting I need to do in the uh, in my email autoresponder. But as you can see, this works. Uh, you can then have your visitors and populate this information in here. So let's just test this out. And there you go. And that's how you place an opt-in form at the end of your videos using a YouTube video in this particular case. Uh, but we can also just as easily, probably actually, actually even easier, use a video that we've uploaded directly into uh, uh, the, the client version of the, screen, the Easy Video Player, which uh, itself actually gets distributed through Amazon's CloudFront. So it actually works a little bit better. But it's just to show you that if you do, al you do already have YouTube videos, you can use those just as well uh, as your uh, source video for your Easy Video Player uh, opt-in form videos. Talk to you later.